full name, Patrice Victor Rameau. Sarah Jane Raffol. You know, all my family and friends uh, call me Patrick. At work, they call me Victor. Long story. My friends call me Sarah. Some of them call me Sarge, Sars, or Jen. Uh, but what, what she calls me, uh, we actually never call each other uh, uh, by our proper names. I, I never call her Sarah, she never calls me Patrick. And tawagan namin ni Patrick is Mahal, Bebe, Baby, everything, love. It's always Mahal or Dearest or Han, a Sweetheart, whatever, whatever we're, we're coming up with. The, 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 the first time I try to call her Sarah, Nagiging dragon ako. She said, Sarah, what am I, your friend? Parang friend ang tingin mo sa akin. You should call me parang sweeter. Love, darling, bebe, baby. <laughs> we actually met online. We first started uh, speaking to, uh, to each other online. It, it was my mother's idea that, that, that maybe I should th think about uh, looking for a Filipina. We exchanged mails for more than a month. You know, and we just got to get to know each other better and better as the months went by. And I decided, you know, I need to go on vacation to the Philippines and meet Sarah in person. We first met uh, March 2011. But we didn't actually meet until I got to the airport in Manila. We met each other face to face in the airport. Yeah, I saw her at the airport. I saw him right away. She was wearing a a beautiful shiny red dress, you really stood out in the crowd. I go, ah, ang guapo. The energy when I first met him or when I saw him at the airport, kalmado lang ako. A little bit of nervous energy, but you know, which is normal, of course, so, so I expected that. Parang, imimit ko lang yung isang friend nothing so special. But, but we're also trying to be as normal as possible, we were just uh, getting to know each other. Parang at first hindi 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 wala yung feeling na dahil foreigner siya takot ako na makipag-meet hindi kasi we established a good relationship as friends so nung nakita kami kalmado lang ako uh, minute ko siya as friends ganun lang ganun yung energy walang something super duper excitement super duper excitement as parang lover meeting na ganun parang excited to see him as good friends parang okay uh, I, I saw this guy I think he's nice so I, I need to know him well, but as a friend. When I asked her for our first date, we had not actually met in person yet. We were just communicating online, which was very difficult. I, I was working in Afghanistan, terrible internet connection, so, so we could, it was very difficult to even get a phone call through. So, so uh, when I asked her, I was, uh, uh, of course we hadn't met yet, so I was a little bit nervous about it. I, I didn't want to appear like a crazy person. <laughs> Before pa kami mag-meet, sabi niya, he, he informed me already na uh, pagdating sa friends, pag meeting new friends, they kiss on the cheeks. So sabi, sabi niya, are you okay with that? So sabi ko, uh, sige, okay, okay lang, walang problema. Yeah, but, but, but again, we decided just to be totally honest uh, with each other about what, what we wanted, what we were expecting, and, and, and what we needed. And, and that's not to be the best way. So a little bit nervous at first, but, but, but she reassured me and I reassured her. Okay, so when I saw him, okay, oh wow, so he's excited, he kissed me on the cheek, pero siyempre ako, nagulat ako. Kasi parang siyempre, di ba, ibang guy eh, parang ganon. Pero he, he's very nice, he's very, ano, parang yung respect. Yeah, and, and I wanted to be honest with her and her family. So, 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 so an important part of that first date, uh, 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 that made us a little bit nervous too, but we were saying... Uh, he told me na he wanted to go out of town, but he never told me that he wanted to go out of town with me alone. Uh, 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 well, maybe you should bring uh, one of your relatives along. He said, you can bring along your family. But I said, along the family? Why is that ticket? So I ako. Sabi ko, bakit with the whole family? Because I didn't want her relatives thinking that, okay, this man is coming out of the blue and just taking away her, her, her daughter somewhere. Sabi niya, he just wanted to make an assurance na hindi, na hindi mababahiran ng something yung pag-iisip ng parents ko na, syempre, I'm a foreigner, and you're a Filipina, and ayoko mag-isip sila na we're going together in an out of town na tayong dalawa lang. So, so I wanted them to be reassured. So it was, it was as if I were dating her entire family. <laughs> Napakabihira sa lalaki na 
uh, alam mo yun, you can bring along your family with you. Kung ibang lalaki yun, and, and, and if he's interested, tara, let's go, tayo dalawa lang. So, I, I find him, uh, yung, yung, he treat me with respect. Parang he treat me as parang precious. Kasi, yun eh, parang nag establish siya ng um, strong foundation as friendship muna. So, with, 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 with respect. So, gusto ko yun. So, nat 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 natuwa ako. So, we went to Boracay with my sister, Jana. It, it, it was very, it was very relaxing. Uh, it, we, we were trying to not to think of it as a date, and so it was just uh, some people hanging out together and getting to know each other. So, so that, that was the most relaxing part of it. So that was, so it was very nice. So we were just going to the beach with uh, Sarah and Sarah's sister, and, and we were just walking around get, and just getting to know each other while we're out on a little adventure. So we had, we had a lot of fun there. Yung mga experience ko na mga water activities, so we did that. That's it. I think that's our first date together out of town with my sister Jana. It was very, very simple and nice that way. So I think that worked, that worked well for both of us. After the first date, uh, you know, I was still not certain because uh, the, the, the date went very nice, but, but, but it was just hanging out. Uh, he approached me. He approached me that he, he wanted to go into a next level if it's okay to court me. So it was just getting to know each other, but I still wasn't sure exactly, you know, if she wanted to proceed, and she she wasn't sure if I wanted to proceed. So so it was time to just be put all my cards on the table and just be very honest. So so, so I did that, and. and Sabi ko, uh, yes, why not? We can we can work out things together. But things uh, first things first. I need to know you more better. You're a foreign, and you are not usually here, and you're working there. So let's just uh, let's just take it step by step. I was almost shocked when when, when she says yes. L -l -l let's uh, continue this and, and, and see how it goes. L let's try real actual courting. Ang pinakamasaya lang kasi he asked my parents, he asked my aunts na if it's okay to court Sarah. And then sabi ng mga sis ng mga ng aunts ko ng parents ko, you ask her. Siyang liligawan mo hindi kami. So that's it. So that's the go signal of the courting that takes five to six months since 2011. What I most liked about Sarah uh, was well, it's it's an entire package. One of the things that really impressed me about her was her family. Napakaraming magagandang qualities ni Patrick na nalaman ko throughout the years. But yung nagstand out sa lahat is that you love me for my family. Her family reminded me of my family in many ways. Right at, the first thing we did after she picked me up from the airport, we, uh, we went uh, to, to, her, to her aunt, you know, where her aunt was working. Uh, and so, got, got to know, got, so on, on the very first day, I got to know Sarah, her aunt, her sister, and some of, some of her other relatives. So, so, that, so that was very nice. So, so my, my entire impression of, of her was also the impression of her family. Kung gano'n niya ako kamahal, gano'n din niya kamahal yung pamilya ko. Yun yung pinaka, all throughout the years, gano'n. He, he get to know my, my, my parents, super close sa mga sisters ko, even pinsan, tita. Even though we were born exactly opposite ends of the world, if you, if you look at a globe, where I was born, where she was born, are exactly as far away as you can get. But it was amazing, we had so much in common uh, in spite of that. You, Born to born in tropical islands, uh, very Roman Catholic, and very similar uh, uh, values and ideals. Even though in, in, they may look as different as they can be, so the the important things were what, what was in common. The proposal uh, I'd actually planned. I, I knew I was going to be proposing to her at, uh, at the end of the previous vacation, about six months before the proposal. You know, I, I knew it was going to be coming. I think he mentioned that he, he intend to marry me. I think he mentioned that, but I never assumed. It took me a little while to plan it, and I was plan planning it in secret. I, I, I knew it wasn't going to be, I can't do plain old ordinary, will you marry me, you know, in a room. No, 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 it had to be something different and special. So we went a little bit above and beyond. So it had been in the back of my mind since I was a kid. It's going to have to be something, something crazy even, you know, something to do with the stars and and putting her name out, out among the stars. 
siguro yung yung may feeling na ako na he, he he's gonna pop out a question siguro last year lang so so and i spoke to, to about that with her sister and her cousin while we try to plan something good and and we found out oh there's a planetarium in manila and we can rent it out and we can project things on it hmm so the plan started coming together. It, it, it took uh, several weeks to, to, to even come up with the right plan. And then oh, it took a lot of planning. And, and worst of all, we were, it was all a secret. It's not good on preparing secrets and everything. So medyo may something na hindi. Parang meron siyang tinatago. Parang may something. So, so, so I was planning this w w w w with her sister, her cousin, her aunt. And we were, we were uh, going uh, to meetings uh, uh, with the government to secure this space, and we were doing all this behind her back, and of course getting the ring. And oh, and 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 Sarah is very suspicious. You know, if she thinks there's, there's a surprise coming, she'll be looking for it. Because he's not good on telling a lie. So so in the end, yeah, we made all the arrangements to, uh, to rent out the, the uh, planetarium. And and took a lot of doing, but we were able to, to pull it off. That somehow did it uh, w w without her without her knowing. Even though she, she had a little suspicion that something is happening, so so, so got her entire family involved. All the family uh, they, they went down there and, and, and they were hiding in, in spots. And, and, and we gave uh, Sarah a, a nice little story that we were going to, to go for a class w with her cousin. So so we had nice cover stories lined up. So we did that. So, so we showed up and, and oh, it's the planetarium and oh, okay, we'll go see a nice little planetarium show. So, so, so during, the, during the, the beginning of the planetarium show, as, as we rehearsed and planned, and I, I stepped out because I suddenly had to go use the comfort room <laughs> at the beginning of the show. And, and then they started projecting the display that we had spent weeks making and planning. You know, it even got the right music and and, 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 and the whole family uh, came out and gave her, rose, gave her roses one by one. And, and I was the last one to, to come out with a bunch of roses. Yeah, she cried. <laughs> it worked out very nicely.